Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Elmer and Snake. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant was thinking. He was thinking that it was a nice day for doing nothing. Nearby were two other elephants. Look, whispered one. Elmer is thinking of a trick to play on us. Let's play a trick on him instead. What shall we do? asked the other elephant. I don't know. I can never think of tricks, said the first, but Snake will know. Off they went to see Snake. Hello, Snake, they said. We want to play a trick in Elmer. What can we do? Snake thought, then chuckled. Tell him he's looking pale. Get him to lie down and rest. He'll see that's not true, said one of the elephants. Snake sniggered. If it's repeated often enough, he'll believe it. You'll see. The elephants weren't convinced, but they agreed to try Snake's idea because they didn't have any other. On the way home, they asked other animals to help them fool Elmer. Meanwhile, Snake sneaked off and told Elmer the idea. Do as they say, Elmer, and lie down where you usually do, he said. I'll bring some white mud from the pool and rub you with it. It'll make you look pale. They want to trick you, but we'll trick them. All right, Snake, said Elmer. I feel like lying down and doing nothing. I'll have a walk first. Soon after, Elmer met Leopard, who said, Are you feeling all right, Elmer? You look pale. Do I? said Elmer. Oh, dear. Then every animal that Elmer met said, Are you feeling all right, Elmer? You look pale. And Elmer said, Do I? Oh, dear. While Elmer returned to the other elephants, Snake was busy dragging a very large leaf towards Elmer's favourite lying down place. On the leaf was a pile of white mud. Here comes Elmer, the elephants whispered to each other. Then out loud they said, Are you feeling all right, Elmer? You look pale. You should lie down and rest. Elmer just nodded and went to his usual place. It's working, chuckled the elephants. Snake was ready and using a smaller leaf, covered Elmer with a thin coat of mud. Elmer giggled. Stop it, they'll notice, said Snake, then finished and hid. Elmer was left with his colours looking paler under the thin coat of mud. I'll go and peep at Elmer, said an elephant. Elmer was asleep. Being covered with mud is relaxing, especially when you feel like doing nothing. The elephant returned to the others. It's very quiet, he said, and he really does look pale. The elephants laughed. One said, Snake said that if we told Elmer often enough, he'd believe it. Now you're believing it too. Go look again. While they were talking, Snake gently covered Elmer with more mud. Elmer slept on. The elephant found Elmer paler than ever and hurried away to get the others. Snake covered Elmer yet again, then hid as the elephants arrived. He's getting pale all the time, said the first elephant. What shall we do? We'll have to ask Snake, said another. Snake heard and hurried home. When the elephants arrived, Snake was waiting. He acted surprised. Believing you are ill can make you ill, he said. The way to cure Elmer is to tickle him. At first, the elephants were shocked, but Snake convinced them and they hurried away to try the cure. Elmer woke feeling strange. The mud had dried, making a stiff cover all over him. At the same time, the elephants tiptoed up and started to tickle him. Elmer laughed and jumped up bursting out of his mud shell like a chick breaking out of an egg. His colour showed as normal. Hurrah! shouted the elephants. It worked. Snake was right. Elmer laughed. Snake, he's a crafty one. You thought you were tricking me. I thought I was tricking you. And Snake tricked all of us. It's Snake we should tickle. But Snake, being sensible, had gone on holiday. So the elephants tickled each other and anyone else that was around until the jungle rocked with the sound of laughter. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story and I'll see you soon in the next video. Remember to be good and kind. Bye for now.